Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to use the eDate function to determine the, num the date that occurs X number of months after a given start date. A big shout out to Christian G for requesting this demo. Christian, this one's for you. So in cell A2, I've got the start date. I put 9-12-2017. Let's say that I want to know what date is uh, 30 months after 9-12-2017. So I'll put 30 in for my number of months. In cell C2, uh, we'll do equals e-date, open paren. The e-date function has two inputs that are both required. The first is your start date, and again, I've got that in cell A2, comma, the number of months is in cell B2, close paren, and there's my result. Of course, the format uh, is actually it's not formatted at all. It's just a serial number. So we'll go to the pull-down menu of formats found on the home tab of the ribbon. And I'll choose short date. So the date that occurs 30 months after September 12, 2017 is March 12, 2020. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Please click the like button to indicate that. And if you uh, are so inclined, hit that subscribe button so you'll be alerted every time we have a new upload. I certainly appreciate your attention and support. Have a productive day.